Hello and welcome to the Light and Energy Show with me, Claire Wiles. Today I'm joined by Tony Kilbert. Welcome, Tony, to the show. Thank you, Claire. Now, Tony, you're an independent researcher of hidden esoteric information. Mm. That's quite a title. You don't do that way. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about how this began to be a researcher of, of these uh, esoteric issues? Mm. Um, okay, cutting a long story short, I had an internal thought that kept recurring and recurring and recurring, and it wouldn't leave me alone. Mm -hmm. um, I was pushed to look at, and I do mean pushed, to look into the subject of free energy. Mm -hmm. Um, I was, you know, I, I, I had a yearning to understand what, what on earth was going on. So I, I started to research on the internet about the fact of, is there such a thing as free energy? If there was such a thing, what's it all about? Where's it going? What, you know, why haven't we got it and all the rest of it? Um, but uh, cutting a long story short, I started looking into uh, free energy devices and I, f I couldn't believe what started coming out mm -hmm. of the computer at me. Mm -hmm. um, I first looked at somebody called Jonathan Searle, who invented the uh, Searle effect generator. Mm -hmm. And um, I started studying all of his work, and I started studying the, you know, the mathematics, the physics, mm. all of the information behind it, because I was just amazed that such a story was even mm. even there. Mm. Because it's, such, it's so in-depth. I mean, this guy... Um, developed the Searle Effect Generator, which is basically a core steel ring with yep. um, smaller rings passing around it. Mm -hmm. And it all works on electromagnetic s impulses. Right. And as the, this machine speeds up, um, it starts generating electricity. Right. And it gets to a certain point where you disconnect the energy source that started the rotation of the machine. Yeah. And it speeds up. It wow. carries on going off its own energy. Okay. And this was just, wow, I can't believe it. And this just continues indefinitely, does it? Mm, it does, to mm. a point, he has to control the revolutions. Right. Because certain things happen, yes. which we can get to a little later on. Yes. But, yeah, it's fascinating. Well, that's amazing. So, with this free energy, this is something that you feel that anybody could be using, or we should be using within our homes? Are you thinking of it in, um, on a personal issue, or on a, on a industrial level, or...? On all levels. Um, initially, that's one of the things that led me to search even deeper. Right. Because obviously, if we've got such a thing like the Searle effect generator yes. that Professor Searle's showed us that we've got, mm. then who's you know I needed to know well who's backed this up, who says it's it's going to who says it's working. Mm. It's amazing claims that he's making. So mm. you know where mm. are the independent researchers that mm. have backed up what mm. he's done? Mm. Um, again, a long story short, it turns out that Russian scientists have now reproduced the Searle effect generator and are, have mm. verified its functions and all mm. of, of what, what mm. occurs with this particular device. Um, but if people want to go and look at the story, um, they'll learn things about how the BBC hired helicopters and BBC cameras um, over, th over 30 years ago, if not 40 now. Mm -hmm. And um, that they went to record the effects of this machine and how it worked and the surprises that they got when so they got there. So we're looking at something that was developed in the 60s? Yeah, mm. way, way while ago. Mm. But okay. that, that was just one revelation. But right. that began a chain reaction okay. that, led if, uh, that led to deeper and deeper research mm. into the, to, to the particular form of free energy. Mm. Um, I then did some more research. I found out about Marco Rodin. Uh, Marco Rodin um, was the, basically, he, he developed a toroid which is anybody would know as a donut, and he had harmonic windings that go into the donut. Mm -hmm. That when he passes energy through in both particular ways, it it pulls more energy out than it goes in. Right. Because of the harmonic okay, effect of how it's wound. Yes. I then started looking at um, some of the other researchers on electrolysis, mm -hmm. which is separating hydrogen and oxygen from water yes. using electrical current, mm -hmm. which then they combust hydrogen and oxygen, mm. two most explosive gases mm. on the planet, mm. and they're running combustion engines on it and mm. all these sort of things. And this, it's not just one form of free energy. It led to a whole revela revelation of all these different devices and how they all worked. And I've since then found PDF documents on, right. I can't remember what the site is, freeenergy.co.uk or something. Mm -hmm. Free, en free energy devices .co .uk. Mm -hmm. And they've got hundreds and hundreds of pages of different devices, different engines, different designs. There's so many, it'll make your head spin. 
<coughs> so why do you think we're not actually being able to use this free energy? Well, that's <laughs> part of the, uh, the whole next step, isn't it? Mm. Um, what you've got to do is first get your, your head around the fact that this is real. And then you start reflecting and saying, well, hang on, who's actually paying the sun to shine? Mm. Um, nature works on energy that's coming from somewhere. Mm -hmm and then it takes you deeper and deeper and deeper into the whole journey. Mm. Um, scientists now have, have completely agreed that within one cubic squ square centimetre of air, anywhere, there's more energy than you could possibly use. You know, energy, mm. free energy is everywhere, mm. but it's getting past the dogma and the, the, the conditioning is the correct word, mm -hmm. that you've been told all your life, you know, four and four equals eight, you know what I'm saying, this yeah. type of thing, it's yeah. conditioning. But yeah. you've got to be able to rip away the conditioning before you can conceive of the possibilities that what you have been told isn't actually true. Okay. Um, and, uh, and that's a massive topic in itself because it goes everywhere. What you're told about anything is the conditioning program that you've been under all of your life. So people have to understand the concept of free energy before they can actually be using the free energy, it's got to be in that order. It's got to be, I mean, it was driving me up the wall before mm. I looked. Yes. And now I know why. Yeah. Before I didn't. Yeah. The point is, I, I thought it was ridiculous, so I didn't bother to look. Mm. And that's mm. the point. Mm. When you think that something's ridiculous, you don't go there. Mm. It's, oh, it's rubbish, it's conspiracy theory, it's this, it's mm. that. It's anything, but you won't look mm. because you're conditioned unbeknown to you yes. not to look. Yeah. Because when you do look, yeah. That's when Pandora's box comes yeah. out. There's a lovely saying, isn't there? I can't remember who said it, but um, they said that what scientists should be doing, in, instead of when they discover something, saying, oh, Eureka, I found it, they should be saying, hmm, that's interesting. And looking into it more. Mm. But this is it. This is where the rabbit hole gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Because once you've taken that lid off, you start asking these questions, yes. which are perfectly sensible questions. Yeah. But only after you've found out that something's wrong mm. do you start analysing it deeper and deeper and deeper. Mm and that's precisely how it works. Mm. Um, so why do you think, you know, this thing with free energy, which is so amazing that we could all be using something that isn't costing us anything, why aren't we hearing about this? Why isn't it on the news? Why, <laughs> why isn't it easily accessible? You know, you can have this for free. Well, the fact is, if we all knew that, we would be. Mm. And that's why the conditioning program is in place, to prevent that from happening. Mm -hmm. Because they don't want the information out of the box. Now, who's, we've... Uh, who's they? We can get to that bit a little okay. deeper, but okay. there is a conditioning program on Earth. When you're born, okay, you are taught by your parents what your parents have been taught. Mm. So there's an yes. overlaying cover mm. that's placed over everybody's life experiences from mm -hmm. birth all the way through. Um, when you go to school, this is history. Mm. This is, you know, science. This is mechanics. You know, mm. you We're can't go anywhere. We're programmed, aren't we? Absolutely. I mean, I was reading... reading um, I mean, I came across a, I mean, an Action Man book for about five-year-olds. I turned it over just for the heck of it, looked at it, Ministry of Defence, and it's like, this is Action mm. Man, this is kids. Mm. You know, the whole school system, the medical yeah. system. It's frightening. It, it's systematic. In, in my son's GCSE um, school textbook, there was a whole page on statins. And this was one book to cover two-year GCSE science and a whole mm. page on statins. And I found that scary. Mm. Well, this is it. That's, that's what they want you to think. Mm. But they don't want you stepping anywhere outside the box at all. Mm. Um, and like I say, the more you look, the more this becomes apparent everywhere. Mm. I mean, I've taken it to the stage now where uh, you can see it all around you. Mm. I can pick up anything, look, turn it around, there's a barcode, 666. Mm. You can look at the petrol signs from Texaco to BP. And mm. you can see esoteric geometry and secret hidden information, Knights Templar information, mm. all sorts of things mm. start coming out. Mm. But mm. it's only when you open your eyes and begin to see mm. what's really going on. That's, mm. that's, that's, the, that's the revelation. We're constantly programmed, aren't we? Every time Absolutely. we walk down the street, we pick up a newspaper, open a book. It's Absolutely. just a constant um, way of stopping us thinking for yeah. ourselves. Absolutely. Mm. They want you to follow the party line and don't go anywhere. Uh, anywhere else. You know, and that mm. includes, I mean, I've looked at scientists that, um, the scientists been involved in um, space programs and technological programs for the, um, let's call it industrial military complex. Mm. And they've been, they've, they've, they say themselves, they, we, they were brought in to just try and figure out 
how to you know fire an electron through a particular electromagnetic field mm. that's never going to go through. But right. the, the, you know they, they're repeatedly trying and trying mm. and trying to make something happen mm. that they know can never happen. Mm. But they keep funding it. Mm. But if you start taking that technology and changing it so you can mm. actually successfully make it work, they won't fund you anymore. No. They'll pull you off the program. They'll do anything mm. to stop you researching that particular department. Mm. It's the same with medicine. Again, technological mm. research, um, anything to do with you know free energy, yeah. anti gravity, all these yeah. sort of things that turn out to actually be real. Well, we've only they don't got, want you to go. Um, got to look at Codex, haven't we? You know, <laughs> and what changes that that's going to make to uh, to how our, our own personal choice absolutely in, in what we can use in herbal medicine and in nutrients absolutely. and of course if we're actually can't use these things for ourselves then they know we would have to go down the pharmaceutical route absolutely. so lots of money to be made and our health gets worse that's right I mean it turns out I've gone down and looked at the medical route, you know, there's all sorts of cures. Everything that we've got as an ailment is curable. Mm. But one of the most Im incredible things about our immune system is it can cure all of these things. Mm. If only you understand mm. that it's what you put into your body mm. um, that actually gives your body all of the kits, all of the tools in the toolbox yeah. to repair all of the, all of the problems that, you, you know, your body um, can encounter. Mm. Um, it turns out, if you look at um, some of the work done by Dr. Carey mm -hmm. in uh, America, um, I think it's entitled Vaccines are the True Mass Wep Weapon of Mass Destruction. Mm. And I think it's about a 17-part um, documentary. And she explains it all in such mm. incredible, clar clear mm. information. Mm. And this is, of course, why Codex Alimentarius is going after all the vitamins, the minerals, the nutrients, the yeah. supplements which are pure, anything pure they want to get rid of yeah. because your immune system can use that yeah. to defend itself yeah. against illnesses. Fluoride in water. Absolutely. I mean, fluoride, oh, that's a story in itself. Mm. Um, fluoride's all about dumbing the people down, mm. calcification of the pineal gland, same yes. as the mobile phones, black ops technology yes. in order to close off your connection to anything spiritual mm. or um, our true source. Mm. Um, you know, it's a massive subject. Mm. Any any single one of those we can spend a long time mm. on. But that's what it's about. It's about cutting your connection to who you really are. Yes. And that's when we start drilling down through all the rubbish, mm. put it politely, mm. um, and get into the true mm. source of, well, why is, why is everything mm. the way it is? Why has the Pope got yes. a stick with my pineal gland or an effigy mm. of my pineal gland mm. on the end of his stick? Mm. It's like, whoa, what's going on here? You know. I think um, as we move towards 2012 and things look as if they have been getting progressively worse and yet there's much more of a global consciousness becoming more enlightened, mm. do you agree with this 100 monkey syndrome that as more of us become more enlightened then the balance will turn? Yes, absolutely. It's called um, collective consciousness. Mm. We are the consciousness. I'm going to drill right down. We are the consciousness of Earth experiencing this experience as mm. a human race mm. on this planet that's about to flourish yes. into the thing that we've spent yeah. thousands and thousands yeah. of years turning from just a hundred monkeys mm. into the fully conscious human beings that mm. were initially designed in 5D to mm. be mm. and that's part yes. of the, the massive struggle. And we're being fought every step of the way Absolutely. aren't we? Absolutely. A challenge every step of the way. Fluoride, medicines, money, control, restrictions, freedom, mm. freedom of speech, mm. government, politics, military, industrial military mm. complex, all of it. Mm. It's all in inherently yes. linked and you can't escape from any one part of it without addressing the whole sy mm. system. Mm. It's like a fractal. Mm. Um, yeah. and we've got to start dismantling yeah. that fractal. And often things have to get to the absolute worst they're ever going to be in order to then change mm. and have that shift of balance, don't they? And uh, certainly, right. I don't know how you feel about it, but a lot of us feel that this change is coming. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it, and it's tough, but it, it's, it's coming. It's just about to kick us mm. right up the backside, to mm. be totally frank with mm. you. We'll chat now about um, anti-gravity, which is a big issue in itself, isn't it, that you've been researching? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it strangely came across initially as well, because as I mentioned earlier, um, Pro Professor Jonathan Searle's Searle Effect Generator. Now, one of the interesting things that happens with this generator is that it gets up to a certain revolutions per minute and it produces anti-gravity. In mm -hmm. other words, where, while the actual rollers are going round on a horizontal plane, 
there is an actual, uh, an, an actual inverse field of okay. electromagnetic energy that's created. Mm -hmm. And the faster that the roller spin, the more powerful mm -hmm. the magnetic field speeds up. Mm -hmm. So what actually happened with Professor Jonathan Searle's devices is he lost the first two because they went through the roof. They sped up at such a right. rate, went so quick, they punched a hole through the ceiling Good and the first floor of his mother's house initially. Right. So then she said, you're going to have to get yourself a workplace, son. <laughs> well, actually, he did. Mm. He went off and, and uh, got another place. And um, I can't remember the exact story, but he tried to fix it down or something, and it broke the fixings, and it flew off again, and he mm. lost the second one. Mm. But anyway, um, so yeah, and, and <coughs> if you think that's uh, way off, and I'm a lunatic, then that's fine, because the BBC actually hired two helicopters when they went to film Professor Jonathan Searle's flying machine mm -hmm. way back when, they hired the two helicopters with the film crews to Kay. watch the demonstration that he said, I've got this right. machine. Mm. Yeah, all the public were there, all the mm. village was there. Mm. And they took them out and, uh, and they put these helicopters up there and he had a flight route planned, he had, they had radios, they had communications, it's going to go from here to here, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And it was all properly planned and put yeah. together. Um, so anyway, cutting a long story short, he said, well, you know, it's no good having helicopters. This thing's far too fast for your helicopters. Mm. And they just dismissed him. Mm. So anyway, the helicopters just got left standing mm. because he took this thing up, he shot it up um, halfway across the country to a particular coordinate. And okay. he, he was photographed and recorded at the coordinate and then he, he brought it back, okay. um, to my understanding. So, I mean, th it's fascinating how one thing leads to another to another to another and mm -hmm. how all of this information start suddenly starts unfolding. Mm. Um, but that's just the one story. In the same way that energy is produced from, let's say, the ether, the vacuum, mm. real power, if you want to go the German words, um, the same thing, it turns out that energy in the form of electricity and energy in the form of electromagnetic energy are linked. Mm. There is no way of separating the two. Mm. Um, to our current understanding, mm. Anyway. Mm. Um, if you pass wire down a uh, pass electricity through a, a, a standard cable in the room, there's an electromagnetic field that runs along the mm. wire on yeah. a parallel to the actual direction of the energy flowing through the, the wire. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I mean that's that's some of the, the basics of, of what I initially understood and learned from that just one just that one case. Mm. So we have in fact got anti gravity. We mm. have in fact got free energy available. Mm. Um, but if it, it's getting the blinders taken off mm. from your eyes and trying to get your head around the fact that you've been lied to all your life. Mm. Mm. Um, I'm sorry, but that's, the, mm. that's the fundamental part. So when they try to actually film this information and with these helicopters, what happened to that? What happened after that? It was all hushed up. Yeah. The BBC buried it. Right. Um, he was... Um, the police came in and certain officials and um, national security or whatever mm. uh, took away all his equipment and mm. basically locked him up for 30 years right um right. for daring to, to do bring this out do you think this connects in some way to the ufo absolutely uh, yeah yeah because the same power that's powering those could power all of our power needs mm. our travel needs mm -hmm. uh, our freedom to travel mm. off this planet and back again. Mm. And the biggest one is that when we actually get off this planet, we'll realise that fact, mm. Mm. that we've been kept down here, mm. as Alex Jones would say, mm. on a literal prison planet. Mm. And that's the, the crux of it. Mm. And that's why they won't admit to having UFOs. Mm. Um, it's a completely shut book mm. and it's ridiculed if anybody tries to bring it up yeah. I mean the ridicule's not working anymore let's no, face it, it there are so many people mm. now going public mm. you know that, that just countless mm. people mm. Um, Peter Lavender for one Timothy Good yes. you know there's loads of people and they're actually coming to the realisation and it is a realisation it's a realisation that we are run down here like a farm right. and we are not run from the governments as we think we are run from the governments okay. there's a, 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 an area of control above that and an area above that mm -hmm. an area above that an area mm. above that and it goes on and on and on mm. um, I can't remember how many levels of s uh, top secret above top secret um, I think it's 33 or something right. cosmic and you've got majestic and mm. there's all mm. these different classifications mm. um, but yeah it turns out um, that welcome to the farm mm. 
because that's where we're at. we are. We're trapped on the farm. Mm. So when things are leaked, and people, oh, <coughs> you know, that's really interesting. That's leaked. That's just the tiniest, tiniest little part of of this huge picture. Yeah. When you say, okay, we're on a, a on this farm, are we waiting to be farmed? Do you think? Um, Laura McKeezel Deck Knight, Jackal right. Deck Knight. I can't remember exactly her, her name, but. Um, Possibly. Um, th I mean, it's a bit of a deep step to go that far, isn't it? Mm. So, I, you know, mm. I think we ought to come back to some of the facts. But mm. um, where did all the Aztecs go? Where did all the Incas mm. go? Where did all the Mayans go? Where did all mm. the Egyptians mm. go? Mm. Where did the dinosaurs go? And a lot of people talk about this global population reduction. Oh, yeah, so Agenda 21. Yes, yeah. Yeah, Agenda 21, it, well, <laughs> I mean, you have to remove the conditioning because mm. it's a bit like saying our government would never do anything to harm us, okay? Well, let's take a look at chemtrails, let's take mm. a look at um, medications, let's take a look at fluoride, let's take mm. a look at um, GMO, let's take a look at um, growth bovine hormones, mm -hmm. let's take a look at pasteurised milk, let's take a look, uh, you know, the list is endless mm. of what they're putting into the food supply, what they're mm. putting into the the water supply yeah. and the fact that you've got to get over that. Yes, mm. your government wants to control you. Yes, there is free energy. Mm. Yes, there is anti-gravity. It's down to the people now. The people have got to go, okay, right, fine, now we want the truth. Mm. Forget, you know, forget the party line and all this stuff that you yeah. drilled into us, we need the truth. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think people are asking more of the questions now, aren't they? Absolutely. We're not so happy to just sit there and take what we're told as read. <coughs> we want more answers. We want to know how how things have been discovered. There, there's with this global awakening we were talking about earlier. I this just cannot go on, can it? No. If it goes on, it's going to get worse mm. and worse and worse mm. and worse because mm. the plan is for the total enslavement of the entire human race. Mm. Um, just think about this, something sensibly for a moment. If we, in fact. If anything that I've said about anti-gravity is true, and we do actually have it, and there's no problem in proving that. Mm. Mira Hankesh, for example, mm -hmm. um, Marco Rodin, you know, all these people are, are producing mm. this energy. Now, inherent with all of these devices is free energy, and mm. it is um, anti-gravity. Mir Hankesh, do you realise that the Iranian government are starting to produce UFOs? And if you go to Mayor and Keshe's, um foundation, I believe it is, mm -hmm. he will talk about how they use matter and antimatter, mm. fundamental particles of matter, and manipulate them into a particular form in order to create this energy form mm -hmm. and in order to create all of these effects. I mean, we're talking warp drive, we're talking, um, what do you call them, tractor beams, mm. we're talking, you know, off world energy, mm. all of the stuff in Star, w in, in Star Trek. Mm. It's all been there for mm. I don't know how long. So, Tony, what are the potential implications of this disclosure? Well, um, free energy, free travel, um, the realisation that we've actually not only just got this ability, but it's been suppressed, mm. asks many, many questions, um, such as if we've actually got these ships. I mean, I'll give you another example. Gary McKinnon. Um, I say he wandered into the computer the American Defence Systems computer or something, and he pulled out lists of off terrestrial officers that were on board these ships okay. in the Navy that didn't exist. Right. And this is one of the reasons why they're trying mm. to ex extradite him to the US to okay. spend 60 years in prison because he's come out with this information that's their own information that they didn't even firewall off. Mm. Um, that um, basically the implication is we've got these craft and we've been off world. Forget NASA. Mm. NASA's a movie. It's just to keep you occupied. Mm. It's there to pretend that they're doing something mm. about it, not the actual fact that no. what they've really got is real. Right. And that's the point. That's why the, I mean, um, this is why the embargo is in place. Um, Winston Churchill was one of the first people to put an embargo on the whole UFO subject mm -hmm. because of the Foo Fighter issue mm. over in World War mm. Two, um, and that's you know that that is not even the beginning. That's just going mm. to a point where we can say, look, Winston Churchill did this. Mm. But the fundamental facts are that if we've got this off-world technology, what else did we find when we got mm. off-world? Mm. And that's where it gets really interesting because the you know the establishment will be. <coughs> 
themselves at the moment. Yeah. But the point is, when we get off world, we find other technologies left by other races mm. and other abilities to do certain things mm. that have been left on other planets. Mm. Mm. Um, and do you think this was technology that we once had? Oh, yeah. You know, when we think about the pyramids, yeah. this is technology that would have been used but has some way gone out of our exactly. culture for, whatever, for exactly. whatever reason. It's. I mean, if I would say to you, the Vatican has been holding documents mm. going back to the pre-religion and the mm. Egyptian times even. Yes. Yeah? Can you honestly, truthfully believe that the Vatican would hold documents back? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's obvious. Mm. Okay? Why would they do that? Mm. Well, they want you to believe their version or their flavour yes. of Christianity. Yeah. Or Catholic or, yeah. you know. In other words... They are not actually being truthful with you, are they? No. So, <laughs> let's have a look at the Vatican mm. and let's see where all these roots go from the Vatican that are trying to blind us with their version of the Bible. Mm. Yeah. Why are they doing that? What's their agenda? What are they going to get out of it? How does it work? And we mm. have to start going down this, mm. this um, series of pathways in order to get to the real information mm. that's at the top of the pyramid, let's mm. say. Mm. When you say at the top of the pyramid, the what, eye. what do you mean by that? Um, you can take it literally, you can take it esoterically, you can take it geome geome geometrically. Mm. See, just a bit got that one. Mm. Um, it means many, many things. Um, if you want to look at it as in a reality, the top of the pyramid, let's look at some of the control grids, like religion. Mm -hmm. Who's at the top of the the pyramid on religion. Mm. Well, according to the face of it, what's on the face is the Pope. Mm. Yeah. Then you've got the Pope's servants under that, and you've got you know all the religious yeah. clergy. Then you've got the vicars, and then it goes yeah. out and out and out and out through the system. Again, it's a pyramid system. Yeah. So the only thing at the top of the pyramid system gets all of the information, gets mm. all of the wealth that finds its way up. Mm. Everything that you know, things that should be hidden mm. according to the top of the pyramid mm. or get hidden mm. because you know it's that's sucking up all of the energies and, and I mean that in more mm. ways than one and hiding the truth for their own perpetuate to for them to be able to perpetuate mm. the lie mm. so that's what I mean in a literal sense right now if you want to talk about sacred geometry then it goes into a whole different bag of tricks because mm. it actually fits within sacred geometry as well um, you might recall the Richard um, Richard Hall interview that I did about the pyramids mm. and how yes. it all, all functions. Well, it turns out that some of this secret information that's been hidden is, uh, among other things, the Holy Grail. Mm. Now, it turns out that the pyramid actually is activated by a Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. And anybody can go and see that interview to find out what that's all about. Mm. But some of the secret or occulted or hidden, which is what it really means, mm. information is how to manipulate energies of everything around us. In other words, um, free energy. Mm. If you set up the pyramids correctly, just briefly, yeah. you align the pyramids to north and you, uh, you basically put the Holy Grail on top of the pyramid and you activate the pyramid with intent Right. You can actually start drawing in energies from the heaven above mm. or the heavens, mm. to put it uh, on a basic format. And it turns out that that's exactly what the, all the pyramids were doing. Mm. All the pyramids. There's mm. pyramids in Sedona, there's pyramids on the moon, yeah. there's pyramids on Earth, there's pyramids yeah. in China, there's pyramids everywhere. Mm. This is the ancient secret that we can actually mm. draw energy in mm. through the pyramids, mm. but in order to make it function correctly, you need mm. the Holy Grail. Mm, to activate top. it, which mm. is basically a tetrahedron. Yeah. But if you turn that thing upside down, it represents a, a chalice, yeah. which is how it's been morphed into this, oh, it was a chalice, blah, blah, mm. blah. In other mm. words, it's the Vatican hiding the truth mm. because if the truth got out, mm. it would change everything. Mm. And, and all and this that we've been led to believe uh, about them being burial chambers. Oh, <laughs> complete and utter <laughs> rubbish. Um, yeah, OK, we were talking about the eye of the pyramids, uh, which translating into the uh, symbolic eye or the control systems eye or the actual geometric mm -hmm. holy grail etc. Um, I've mentioned it briefly but what you can, it, the fundamental things that happen with a pyramid when you activate the pyramid and it draws these energies from above mm -hmm. below, um, all of these pyramids if you 
do a little bit of research to the ones that are on the earth. We're all on mm. energy grids mm. of the earth. Mm. Same as the churches were built on energy Absolutely. grids. It all links into the fundamental, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, architecture of a church. Mm. If you look at the windows, they're all curved. They're, they're all arches. If mm. you look at the spires, they're short, narrow pyramids. Mm. Um, and we there's know reasons for all yeah. of this. And we know that these were built on sites that people already used. They were energy exactly. sites because that was a way of controlling people and changing them to Christianity. Yep. To be fearful of yeah. God because God yeah. will send you to hell if, yeah. unless you do exactly what your vicar tells you, etc. Yeah. So people were in fear. Mm. Now the angle of the pyramids all to do with the fear from love, creation, heart, healing, spirituality, mm. depending on the angles of the pyramids. Mm. Sacred geometry. Yeah. So the long narrow spire of a church was bringing down these energies in a similar way, but it was being magnified by the people mm -hmm. that were in the church. They were casting all the fearful energies into the Earth's grid. Mm. And this is why the whole Still. geometric structure of the, yeah. of the pyramids and the spires on these churches were built. Mm. It's all interlinked. Yeah. So, I mean, with the, with the pyramids that we actually build, and you know, we have d done loads of tests mm. and all sorts of things, seeds, water, you mm. know, all sorts of things. Yeah. Um, but with these things that we've actually built and tested, they are at the correct angles mm. for what we're trying to do, healing yeah. or spirituality yeah, that very or positive connection. energy. Exactly. Different angle means a different frequency right. of vibration. That's yes. the, the same thing again. So, um, basically, what was actually happening once upon a time pre the experiment of the human race, which is what this is, mm. like lab rats, um, basically it's the Genesis program. Mm -hmm. And we are the lab rats that are trying to find our way through all of this conscious, we're trying to become conscious and become conscious mm. of what's actually real around us and the fact that we're in a box mm. that we can't get out of, so we need to be conscious of that fact and then when enough people get to higher consciousness, we can then turn around and go, right, that's it, game mm. over. We know that you've been lying to us. We know that what you're doing to us, we know about this, 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 mm. this, this. Enough's enough. Mm. You know, we know politicians lie to us. Mm. You know, you know, it's all a game. We, we don't vote democratically. Mm. They rig it and they put in the mm. party that they want to put the party in, but it doesn't matter which party you're in, you're still going to get the puppets mm. above running the party. Yeah. So you've got here, you've got, say, the Vatican at the top of one of the pyramids. Who's above that and above that? Who, who is right. they? Mm. Who are these people that are, or if they are people, who is it that mm. is actually putting the control mechanisms in place? Okay. Um, I go into great much greater detail in the book that I'm writing at the moment, mm -hmm. um, but what we've actually got, I have found personally, um, for my own personal research, I mm. found out that what's actually above the Vatican is what you would term as Zionists. Mm -hmm. Now, I won't use the Jew word, no. because it's not Jews. Mm. They are actual um, Zionist workers right. that work for the castes above those. Mm -hmm. Now it turns out that the castes above those are what we would term as Karzai or Khazarian. Now with a little bit of research people can go back and look at Mesopotamia, Samaria, mm -hmm. Iraq, Iran, all of the areas where we've got conflicts in at the moment. Mm -hmm. if, you ima if, you, if you go and do a little bit of research about the, geome the geological locations of where these wars are, you'll find from, you know, the whole swathe of what was Mesopotamia, this is where the Karzais initially came from, right. to my understanding. Mm -hmm. So the Karzai race, um, my research has, has, has shown me, um, that the, the, they were absolutely ruthless and evil about how they would attack anybody um, to, gain, to get what they wanted. They'd mm -hmm. rape, pillage, murder, mm. I mean they kill people's entire family just, you know, to get whatever they wanted. They were ruthless people. Yes. So, couldn't a long story short, what they decided to do was, um, apart from the fact they'd got this technology and they'd left and, you know, all of mm. the technologically, um, all of the other, the Aztecs, the Incas, the Mayans, all of the rest of it are like, um, and um, you know, they are generations of human beings they've allowed to get mm. to a certain point and then it's a cult okay. they've allowed to get to a certain point then it's a cult a certain point and again mm. it's the same thing with a 20 like not 2012 but it's the same What's thing today with mm. what they're planning with agenda 21 etc right. massive cults in georgia guidestones it's it's there for anybody who's looking mm. and um, tony you're putting all this into a book aren't you 
Indeed, yeah. Mm. Uh, title of the book is going to be um, Cosmic Blueprints of Cosmic Consciousness. Mm. And, uh, and you'll let us know as soon as it's published, won't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, it's been absolutely fascinating having you on the show. I really hope you'll come back and join us again because I know you've got so much more that you'd like to share. So we'd love to have you back on the show. We That'd will put um, links on our show notes of all the sites that you've mentioned and the information that you've mentioned so that you can see for yourself and go and do your own research and make your own mind up. Uh, that will be on www.thelightandenergychannel.tv and, of course, join us on Facebook. So, once again, Tony, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And enlightened energy from me, Claire Wiles, goodbye. <laughs>